and the entire village is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One of the reasons is because of the copper mirrors, and the second is because of the snake boats, and the third is a temple that we're going to tonight. Tree, a hardwood. I've never heard of That's wild the, jack. The long tree. The, the wild long jack. one. It sort of looked like a banyan tree to me. Yeah, it's like that, but it's a very hardwood. Wind. How do they get it into the water? This is their raw it. From here, the river is there. In the back oh, the river. so that's not that bad. Even if they roll it, it seems like a mighty big proposition to me. And they're used what, for what occasion? When do they put them in the water? This is a 90 day, there was a ritual, it's a festivity. There is an Lord Krishna temple, the Parthasarathi temple, which they are the biggest offering called Valla Sadhya. I mean, the 110 horsemen in each board, they will be offered a special food for them from the person who sponsors it. Come in August, September, October, they keep the boat in the water for 90 days. Well, that should be it with the snake boats. If you think I'm going to walk around town and look at 52 snake boats, you've got another funk coming. These particular workers came here over 700 years ago to work on the temple. And only they know the technique of blending the different metals to make mirrors. Two things. This is tin and this is a copper together. And this is a mixing, it's a trade ticket. There's only uh, seven members of the family know. They were making this kind of mirror 2,500 years ago. Here, normally people do soldering. Here they don't do the soldering. They do it by fire. Now you can see how they are fixing the piece in the back. Mirror is made from bronze. Tin and copper took a special combination. That's how it looks when it's done. Yeah. Can I touch you can it? hold it. Please. Don't touch inside the glass. I will not. The mirror is inside. And you can see yourself? Mm -hmm. how is that? I see inside myself. The mirror. mirror is made in a mold. First, they make a clay disc. Mm -hmm. I burn the surface and polish it. And they keep this mirror in between a gap and fill with the wax. Cover it with the clay. And make it in the top they add on like a crucial shape. Here is a hole for that. In between center is the wax. Just fire it in the traditional furnace. That's the furnace? Yeah. Like a kiln. 400 degree temperature they put the charcoal fire and make material melt. Then take out the material from these together, they get material like this is a bronze. So the, they okay. fill the whole container? Yeah. They, they, yes. Then they cover it. First they put a cloth on the top and they're making the clay with the covering. You can see that. You can yes, I, I can see it from here. Yeah. Once they cover it, they keep this system like that in opposite to heating the wax. As soon as they fire on, here the heating, the coconut shell, inside the wax will come out. There is a gap in between. They slowly, 400 degree temperature is become a liquid like that. They will just stain with the funnel. Mm. Then they break it. So you break the mold. This is the, oh, so that's after cover it. This is the mirror. This mirror, now they are going to fix it in a wooden tray with the wax started doing a polishing like that. Look at the man is doing that. I can see how it's getting shiny yeah. already. Yeah. That's Good, he's an artist. He's he the design. Yeah. Designing. Cut it and then he yeah. got there, he, he, he was putting it on. And yeah. uh, the mirror ready, the mirror they fix it later. Mirror from two days to 100 days, like it depends on the size of the mirror. How much do they charge for an ordinary mirror? About? Yes. Yeah, a small mirror minimum is cost them around 1,800 rupees, small one mirror. You still have to think all the work that goes into something like that, and the smallest one is 700 rupees. Right now, American money is like $10.
That certainly is gorgeous. Look at the work. The peacocks, 